Hello everyone, can y'all hear me just fine? We are going to be on a little adventure on the web, you know, looking at femcell stuff. So let's go ahead and watch some of these videos so I can give y'all a prime example of what a femcell looks like or how they act. So let me go ahead and open up my screen recorder right here. All right, now we got that running. Let me just move this out the way, and I'm going to have to put everything together. So, let's go to YouTube. Okay, let's see. Close tab. Close tab. Close tab. Close tab. No, not. And close tab. And yes, this is for my comp to you. This is the test that I'm studying for IT. You know, so I need to go past that exam whenever I can. So let's... I guess we can go on my channel because I got one of them on here. Because I wanted to make sure I got to it before anyone else did. Here we go. No, not. All right. Let's take a look at this woman. Her name is Mary E. Frost. And she is a TikToker. And the title plainly says, Stop Dating Ugly Dudes. Now, for those of you men, what would you rate her as? Because personally, I would say she would be average at best. But to be quite honest, she does also look like back when Walmarts were 24 hours. She would look like a tweaker. In the middle of the night, like she's someone who would smoke a lot of meth and then go to Walmart to go buy God knows what. Um, she kind of looks like the squib off of Harry Potter, you know, the guy who basically manages the uh, grounds, not Hagrid, but the other one, the one with the long hair. She kind of looks like him, and especially with this nose right here, this penis size looking nose. And she looks like. Um, if I, could I know she's one piece of probably advice, around my age. You know, I'm in my early 30s. Ugly guys. She like, may be the same age, maybe a little bit older, but she dudes. definitely doesn't look um, it. She I think that has hit the wall head women, on. You know, we are probably popped for, out a like, couple kids, inside, or, you know, she may be, like, of course, maybe you know, she is doing drugs, and this is why she looks has, really old, or looks a lot older than what she should be. So let's watch this. In theory, in theory, it's great to love someone for who they are. And most of my 20s, I would date these guys who were not great looking, but they could make me laugh. They were really funny. They had a great personality. And I saw like all this potential in them. Like I just saw this like great person inside. But the problem is they had low self-esteem. They knew that they weren't as hot as me. And I thought that they would like a Not as hot as you, hon, it wouldn't really be hard for any man or any woman to be at your level. I mean, you're really not as high as you really think you, as you think Appreciate you are. Me but this is what happens when you have clearly, like, sites like Tinder girl, and Plenty of Fish. Giving them attention. A lot of these and girls not may hook up the with a so-called chat who may be looking for some easy sex. And, and get with them, one of them probably did sleep with her just out of desperation because she was probably the only one available in town. Get with them, they have low self but now she All thinks that she's on the same level as him. Through dating but, you. Because, you know, they get external continue. validation from other guys, other people. Like, oh, you, you're dating this hot girl. Da, 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 you must be the shit. All of a sudden, their self-esteem is raised. And because you got with them when their self-esteem is low, all of a sudden, they think they're better than you. All of a sudden, now that their self-esteem is high, after dating you for a while, they put themselves above you, and they'll do, they'll treat you badly, they'll cheat on you. Like, I've chased these not shit guys for my entire 20s, and it never worked out for me. And I finally decided, you know what, I'm just going to date people that I find really attractive. 
You know, I'm not going to, like, look past their bad qualities. I'm only going to date the really hot guys from now on because this is not working out for me. And now I'm dating a guy who looks like a fucking supermodel and is jacked and ripped. And when he got with me, he had very high self-esteem because he knows he's attractive. And he knows he could have any woman that he wants. So he chose me. And he came into the relationship knowing, like, okay, this girl is great. I wouldn't have chosen her if she wasn't great. And so I have to treat her accordingly if I want to keep her because she's awesome. She knows she's great. And I chose her because... I don't think you're as good as you think you are. I mean, you also you are very, very shallow, even though you really have no room to be. But the condescending attitude, like she talks like there's this. Um, I mean, I understand, you know, sexual. Um, what do you call marketplace or competition? You know, things of that nature. But this girl was acting like she's on the fucking top, and I actually did find her Instagram. And I saw the guy that she's with, and he he looks like just a regular dude. You know, you would think that she's dating someone like Christian Bell or uh, or like Adam Levine or you know any famous person that y'all can think of. I mean, she, I mean, the guy looks like someone you would probably meet at your local Starbucks. You know, I mean, he's just some, you know, he was a uh, he's Hispanic and he wears glasses. But I wouldn't think that he's you know even all the way on top. You know, as far as that goes, I mean, you know, I would say, you know, maybe they're both equal. I'd say maybe he's a bit higher because I would hope yes, that he probably has a better money personality money than she trade. does. I mean, but what if she doesn't even have a personality. With the she's just a scale as fucking bread. You know, I mean, account. and she's sour as milk. Trading alerts to help you but, learn to win consistently, uh, of course, when it comes to these to make- cells, they want, they just want easy access to hot guys. And it works because their society structure has provided it for them, you know. But let's go ahead and let's check out Destro Reborn. Let's see what he has to say. Yes, it does take money to make money in trading. But what if someone else provided you with the trading power of the one Just looking at the comments right here. Along with expert trading alerts to help you learn to win consistently, allowing you to make You know what? I'm going to actually do this instead. There was one guy I actually said I was going to do his video for, but I don't remember what it was because I actually attempted to do this video a while ago. But, of course, the audio was messed up. All right. Um, Let's see here. Damn, I got a lot of fucking, got a lot of fucking notifications on here. So, what are even? YouTube reacts. Where is he? Give me a second, guys. I'll find him. Like Bigelow. Someone commented on my video. One of them said exactly, but let's see. I thought that was him at first. Stop giving ugly men a chance. Sorry, but I... Most of this is about the and Rev stuff. (laughs) 
Here we go. Mont Victorious. Go ahead and watch his video. Wait, wait, hold on. What's this? Is this Meg Griffin from Family Guy? Stop dating ugly men. Honey, you're like a fucking one out of a ten. You look like one of these premature grandmothers with the fucking glasses and the fucking sharp dimples right over here. I mean, like, hun, you are no one's fucking, you're not on anybody's lust list. You know, you're not. Sorry, but I simply cannot no. stay quiet any longer. The only we reason guys would God sleep with you is because if, you know, like I said, if they were very, very desperate and very thirsty, which probably does happen a lot. But this is probably why she has the inflated ego. But this is like the typical femcell look. Look at that. I mean, all you single men, line up. Line up to this girl. I mean, like, shit, that is a fine specimen of female right there. Oh, God. I am so sick of Let's look at her real quick. Beautiful woman okay. Um, I would say she looks better than the last two girls that we've seen, but if you look on this girl's TikTok, she's actually a lesbian. So why is she getting all bent out of shape about men dating women when she's a lesbian? I mean, is she scared that uh, a man's going to take her girlfriend or something like that? I mean, what is up with her? Oh, we, we caught it. Caught it. Caught it. Caught it. Caught it. Caught it. Hold on. Where is it? Hold on. What if I did this? No, 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 no. How do I do? How do I rewind? Most beautiful rewind woman backwards. I've ever seen in my life Slightly. with just some guy with a solid four. What did this? No. We were born without expectations. So why do you expect yep. it to improve you? Disregard <laughs> Yeah, got you. And focus on improving yourself. Look at the fucking. Only look you at the. Look, look your like she hasn't had any sleep, you guys. Look at the fucking. Look at the shadows under her, the lines under her eyes. Fucking old looking bitch. I like this. This mistake is costing Amazon Prime shoppers big. I'm going to show you one simple trick that will save you a lot of money. Good evening, everyone. Maureen has the night off. Uh, Rochester Airport security like worker him. has been fired after okay. she was accused of passing a there note one more with I'm a mean do. message scrawled on it to okay. a traveler, it's a complete this stranger. One the man who received the note says the worker bit, gave it to him as he was simply passing through the security checkpoint. <sighs> Kayla Green talked to that man this one's tonight. Hurt. Bizarre. That's how Neil Strassner describes the recent experience News he eight. had in the airport. I got handed a note. I didn't really think of too much of it. I just kind of kept going. Right, um, me, I had about 10 minutes to get to my gate. Because now it's getting um, hot That's kind of what I was focused on at the moment. So I just kept going. And um, the woman kind of uh, uh, like called back to me. Are you going to open that? Are you going to open it? Are you Sorry, I'm trying to clean like my that? visor right now. Eventually, here. he opened it. And the workers started laughing. Oh, it said, you ugly, with three exclamation marks. He says at first he just thought it was strange, but then decided just because it didn't upset him doesn't mean it wouldn't hurt other people in the future. You really don't know where somebody is in their head. Um, like somebody could be in the, in the worst spot ever, and just like a, a smile would be great for that person. Honestly, you don't have to, I don't know, throw him insults like that. He reported it to a supervisor who he says didn't believe him. Yep. Uh, let's take a look at this fucking wildebeest right here. Um, face looks like she could be a fucking either a transgendered or she could be. A man dressed as a woman. I mean, look how big those arms are right here. Look how fat she is right here. I mean, like, this woman needs to get on a fucking, uh, you know, she needs to go get some slim fast or something. 
you know, needs to walk on the treadmill a little bit more. But um, I think I know why she passed that note, because I've actually had something like that happen to me, not at the airport, but it was on Tinder where, you know, I matched with the girl. Wasn't interesting, so I left it alone. A couple weeks later, she sends me a message saying, uh, sorry, didn't mean to match. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, like, I never even messaged this girl, never talked to her, but she decided to be extra, you know, trying to be a fucking asshole. Um, trying to get at me, because I think, you know, what I'm trying to correlate here is that I guarantee this girl, she's probably on all these dating websites. Some guy that she really likes, she probably sent him a message. He didn't respond to her, or he rejected her. So she decided to take her anger out on uh, this man right here, who's not even ugly at all, in my opinion. And he looks like just a regular dude. But this just kind of shows you the mindset of what these fem cells, how these fem cells think. You know, they're the ones who's going around being destructive. They're the ones who's going around causing all the trouble. You know, uh, in my opinion, to an extent, they're probably the ones even creating the incel community. I mean, like, if I had to compare the two, like, who's worse between the incels and the fem cells, I would say if society wasn't as structured as they are right now, I would say the fem cells would be a lot more dangerous. Because you know what? Women like her is the reason why sex work is illegal. You know, and the reason it's illegal is not because, you know, you can, um, because it's um, immoral or because it's against anybody's Bible or that you can catch a disease. No, that's not it. It's because if, if sex work was legalized, women like her would definitely not get as much attention as they are right now with all these data naps. Because um, the way society is structured is for a lot of men. They feel like if they want sex, they have to be in a relationship. And some will be desperate enough to be with someone like this wildebeest. So, you know, I would think that if sex work was legal, it'd be very dangerous because women like her would probably go around shooting up elementary schools. If you, you know, that's just my opinion. I mean, if they think, if they think the incels are bad on this, wait until, uh, wait until you legalize sex work, you know, because if you legalize sex work, I don't think the incel community would really exist or would not be as um, as high as it is right now because the dating game would actually be a little bit more fair. Because now, with this whole term on, like, game, you know, how to get women and everything like that, well, you're pretty much now working super hard just to get with a woman who's, like, a two or a three. And so it's like, you know, uh, in a sense, like, going to medical school for like four years and then you end up working at mcdonald's so you're pretty much working hard for less you know with the dating game nowadays so it's like you got to work super hard you got to go you know get a better job and you know um you know get uh all this muscle and stuff like that to get with someone like her you out of your fucking mind i said no i said like if i want someone i mean i want her to be worth it but that's just my opinion you know what and if she was nice if she, if she did not pass that note and acted as hateful as she did, you know what? I would not say one, one bad thing about her looks. Just like with the other women. If they weren't being a fucking asshole, I wouldn't say shit. I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pay attention to them. But, you know, since they want, um, they want that kind of attention, I'll give it to you. You know? And I think, uh, that kind of behavior needs to be fucking, uh, you know, be attacked. But... Outside of that, I think I've said enough, so I will see y'all at a later time. See ya. Let me go ahead and close the screen recorder, and I will cut this out right now.